Good morning, guys. How you doing? So, uh, I forgot to do one thing, which is explain in regards to the caregivers program, uh, the third part of your of reevaluation um, or the initial evaluation on um, on the caregivers program. Um, but before I continue, do me a favor, guys. Uh, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, you subscribing helps out, you know, in any way, shape, or form in regards to spreading the word uh, of the channel um, and the information that I'm able to spread. Um, and then at the same time, it creates a community uh, where guys are able to interact through the comments, through e um, you know, through the emails with me. Um, able to spread the word um, in regards to how they made it or how uh, obstacles that they came across. So do me a favor, please subscribe. Um, so let me continue with the, with the third part of the caregivers program is the nurse, the nurse comes over to your house, um, and they evaluate your living conditions. Um, and they make sure that you have the physical, the, the equipment that is necessary to take care of you at home. Um, you know, however, the, the, the caregiver is, is doing it for right now, um, is great. But what the VA wants to do is make sure that the, the caregiver has the necessary and extra equipment to take care of their veteran, you know, um, the best way possible that is deemed fit and in according, you know, and according to law on the way, uh, uh, health caregiver is supposed to be taking care of a veteran. Um, and obviously they're going to be getting paid for it. So, um, and all the physical changes, the physical changes will be if they have to put, uh, you know, um, get you a, a shower a chair or, you know, put a bar in, in your bathroom. So like that you can hold on to while you're taking a shower um, or little extra things here and there. They're able to help out in your home, you know. And the uh, VA will cover this, you know, whether you need a wheelchair or anything like that, the VA will cover this. Um, and the way uh, the, 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 with, the, with the nurse coming over, um, they come over every three months. They will come and check, on, check up on you every three months. There is a different nurse that uh, is available as well, a, second, a secondary nurse um, that you can reach out to. But the, the nurse that comes to see you, um, your your the main one, uh, they will be assigned to you uh, throughout the program. I mean, it all depends that if they find another job, you know, uh, it, you know, it, it is it, it depends on the way the VA around you works. But the nurse will come to you every three months, and they will uh, check up on you, see how you're doing, see, um, ask if you need anything. Uh, they will check up on the caregiver see what it is that they need um, or the veteran needs. Uh, they also uh, not only care for the veteran, but they also care for the caregiver. So if the caregiver is stressed out, you know, or um, let's say things are getting complicated um, or things are getting worse, um, you let the caregiver, uh, the the nurse know in regards to what's going on um, as well as letting the co caregiver coordinator know what's going on. But with mine, uh, he, the nurse came over, um, we, my, my caregiver and I, uh, stated, you know, everything that we already have stated with, uh, the coordinator and, uh, what I have stated with my, uh, psychologist, um, and, uh, all they did was come confirm, um, see our living conditions, uh, and, uh, sign off basically on, uh, on the program and sign off on what's going on. Um, you'll be able to see what um, everything that has been documented and how far along are you in the process. You can see it online and see what they recommend, you know. Um, so from the coordinator to the nurse to the, um, and the psychologist, you'll be able to see their notes on through My Healthy Vet. Um, you could go to the, to the website and, uh, you can see all their notes, um, and at the same time, you'll be able to see the activities of daily living and how you were scored. Um, so based on that, you'll be able to see uh, what tier you might be able to get to. So if you count it all up, you know, um, I know for tier three is uh, 21 or 22 and up. Um, 
and tier two is between 12 and uh and 20 and tier one is you know from one to 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 11 so um again you'll be able to to track all of this and uh you know um see the way it works um one thing that the nurse did explain to me um uh so with my situation is i this is my second time jumping on the caregivers program um and the reason being it was because uh had a difficult time um my mom passed away and uh um it was tough tough but uh you know uh, due to to the health conditions uh she could no longer be my caregiver so we stopped that program um and uh we terminated it so you know the coordinator told me you know i could always come back um but based on the situation you know i you know it things changed differently drastically um but um one thing that was explained to me you know because i still wanted to you know my my sister ended up taking over the whole situation um was that what the nurse explained was we didn't even have to go through all that process um at the time obviously the coordinator um he's great my coordinator is great uh he he just didn't want to interfere because we t definitely backed off completely um and we just wanted to do what we had to do but um what what was explained to me um and what the coordinator wanted the nurse to explain to me is that if for some reason your primary care can no longer take care of you um you can set up a secondary uh caregiver uh just in case if that primary will goes away the secondary will come in and take over the primary's uh job and uh we don't have to go through the process all over again trying to get that that uh caregiver um uh into the program and the the steps that they would have to go through you know uh, or taking the time off or anything you know they could do it at the same time with the primary and um or the, you know at, at another time and uh the the shift the way it works is the stipend benefit would get uh switched over to the secondary care well the secondary would become your, your your primary and the pay would the stipend would go to that that uh new caregiver um and you know that monthly check won't be won't be missed if you're depending on it you know um but one thing i wanted to explain you know in a few is that this is a rehab program it was reiterated throughout the whole time um to me it is a rehab program so you know um if you're doing any better uh you know it is a, this all gets documented you know um and eventually they're they're not looking for you to be on this program for long you know um and they are looking for ways to better your 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 daily living you know um find better ways for you to cope with your uh service connections your illnesses um symptoms you know whatever you've been diagnosed with um obviously a lot of them will be chronic will be static you know meaning that uh it will n it will never get better um but you know um what they explained to me is that this is not your primary job you know um so don't go quitting your day job and you know and you know let's say you go buy a home or something like that you put va caregivers program as your uh primary source of income or um as your job you know um so be careful you know there's a lot of things that was explained to me um and i'm glad i went through this whole process again because um even though it's tough, um, I was able to share this with you guys, you know, and it kind of sucks, you know, um, again, uh, going through a whole thing with my mom, I wouldn't have wanted to go through this whole thing again, but, um, at the end of the day, um, you know, uh, I just wanted to be able to, you know, take advantage of, uh, of the situation and it sh spread it with you guys, you know, it doesn't matter how I feel. I just wanted to be able to uh, share this information uh, because I, in reality, I didn't remember um, what it was like, what we went through um, with my mom through this whole program uh, almost four years ago. Um, so, you know, um, this helps out 
at least to help other veterans, you know, with their situation and how the program works and uh, the pro the steps that they would have to go through, you know, the you know, in order just to get into the program and get approved. So hopefully this helps out, you know. Uh, but if you do have any questions, you know, just hit me up, email me, um, and I'll be glad to um, email you back. Just bear with me. Um, what I want to explain, the stipend benefit. The stipend benefit, it goes to the primary caregiver. You can, uh, after, once you get your secondary uh, caregiver, the care, secondary caregiver will only get paid once uh, they take over the primary job. Um, and that's if the primary can no longer take care of, uh, of the veteran. Now, uh, it explains this right here in this fact sheet. Uh, it's a PDF. I will be posting it up on the on under the videos. But can all caregivers receive the stipend? No. Uh, will my stipend be taxable income? No. Now, how does it work? There are three tiers. The high tier is a tier three. Medium tier is tier two. Low tier is tier uh, tier one. Tier one equates to the maximum of ten hours that they are providing the care uh, of care for per week for the veteran. Tier two, which is medium tier, equates to a maximum of twenty five hours of care per week for the veteran. And tier three, which is high tier, equates to a maximum of four forty hours of care per week for the veteran. Now, <clears throat> the way the pay the the monthly uh, pay goes, it depends on uh, what. The, your state is paying a caregiver um, to take care of someone on a, you know on an hourly basis and how much hours you know they provide. So an example right here, the way it goes is at ten hours at ten dollars times four thirty five will get you four four hundred thirty five dollars. Um, if you guys have any questions, you guys could look it up, see see if you guys uh, are eligible for the program, call them up. Um, you know, and it all depends on the ser uh, service connections that the veteran. Uh, has uh, they will go about based on the the highest uh, service connection that the veteran has and then anything else that uh, you do for the veteran that is not part of the service connection uh, well it's not part of the primary service connection but it, the they are still service connected for um, such as let's say PTSD is the highest uh, service connection that they have but they have back problems, they have knee problems, they have uh, ankle problems. Um, if you do anything in order to take care of those service connections as well, it counts towards the, you know, as I briefly explained with the way it works, the activities of daily living, it counts towards that. So, <clears throat> you know, um, find out what you guys are eligible for. You know, these are this is the phone number. Give them a call and they'll call you right back, you know. This is where the calculation I wanted to send you guys to uh military compensation um the calculators for uh the special monthly special compensation for assistance of, uh, with activities of daily living um and this this is ohio right here akron ohio um this is what tier three would get you in akron ohio uh which is the high tier um this is what 40 hours uh will get you um taking care of your veteran this is what in ohio the tier one will get you for taking care of your veteran, which is 500 bucks. This is what happens in New York. This is upstate. Tier one will still will get you 787. Tier three will get you over three grand. Let's say you go down to the Bronx in New York. Tier three will still get you 31, 51, uh, 54. And tier one will still get you the seven eighty seven. Doesn't it doesn't change for for the state of New York? It doesn't work the way uh, post nine eleven GI Bill uh, BH works. Uh, if a lot of you guys uh, know about the post nine eleven GI Bill, is based on the school where you're attending um, and the area code and the pay the BH differentiates between. I know in New York City. Uh, if you're going to a city college in New York City, BH is a little over uh, for for the post 9/11 GI Bill. The extra stipend that you guys are getting is a little over four grand. Um, yes, a little for over four grand just to you know for a stipend to go to school. So it's different from that. So uh, this um, this program this program you know the money the money is great. It's there to help you guys out financially. You know, if you guys are having trouble, you know, or the, you know, uh, this might, you know, this is not something that replaces the income. So, you know, I wouldn't suggest 
families uh, quitting their day job, you know, this is just to compensate for those extra hours that you guys, you know, those 40 hours that you guys are doing um, to help out your veteran, you know, obviously the cost of of going to war, um, the cost of uh, uh, sacrificing for, uh, for your country, um, there's a lot of cost of it too, you know, to it, you know, in regards to whether it's physical, mental, you know, emotionally. Um, and there's nothing that can compensate for that. You know, there's no amount of money that would be able to get you that back. But this is, this is a step forward to helping you guys out a little bit, you know, in, in the long run, you know, and what you provide for your veteran. All right, guys. Um, so <clears throat> take it for what it is, you know, it's a little help. Uh, for those of you, you know, that, that are doing it, are helping out, just I want you to understand, again, this is a rehab program. This is not a, a, a program where you can, you know, it will replace your job. Um, the VA caregivers program is not your primary uh, uh, employment. So you can't go and buy a house um, and put the VA caregiver program as your primary employment. You know, it doesn't work that way. This is just a program that you know, you mess up, they can, you can get thrown out of the program, you know, so, you know, don't count on this as a, as a main income, you know, or primary income. So, you know, take it for what it is, it's extra cash, uh, put it in your pocket, do whatever seems fit, you know, for the veteran, uh, for yourself to compensate for your time. All right, guys. Um, with that being said, uh, take care. You know, you have a great day. Um, and I'm going to head out to go get a nice cup of coffee. It is much needed. Take care. Bye-bye.